Hello everyone, welcome back to Go Rails. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how we can go from an error such as this right here that we're seeing in our terminal, the action controller parameter missing error, to open in a pull request to Rails itself in order to improve that error message, okay, and what the underlying cause is. And along the way, we'll also address this kind of confusing error here um, with this path that it's trying to post to here. So let's dive right in and let's figure out what is causing this error first, okay? So a little bit about the application here. So it's just a very simple Rails app. There's only one model, a task model. A task has a name attribute on it, okay? Uh, currently, right now, we are on the index page, okay? If we look at the URL here, it's just slash tasks, okay? And if we had tasks, they'd be listed out underneath here. So what I've done is uh, instead of having to click the link to go to the new form and then enter the information there, I've just put the form straight on the index page here so that we can enter the name of the task, hit save, and then have it displayed down below. However, currently there is an issue with the form. So if we uh, enter the name of a task here, if we say make better errors, errors, if we hit save on this, okay, we see that the page uh, has been refreshed here the form has been cleared out but if we look at our logs you know we don't see the task showing up uh in the below section and if we look at our logs here we can see that we actually hit this error for action controller missing parameter so param is missing or the value is empty for task and that is happening because over in our task controller uh, in the task params uh, method here we are requiring that task name okay so that's where this error is being raised from because it's not being uh, submitted over in the params, but why is it not being submitted over? 